folks, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Now, if you've been learning for a little bit, you've maybe learned a few tunes, and then maybe you learn a few more. And then maybe at a certain point, you know a lot of tunes, and you can't even remember all the tunes you've learned. And maybe that's frustrating because you want to le- remember them. They were fun, but you know, you're having trouble just recalling them all. So this, in this lesson, I'm going to give you some tips and tools to help you remember all these tunes you've, you've learned. So we're gonna start with something I came up with called fingerprinting. Fingerprinting is really simple. You say the name of the tune, then you play just a little bit of the, each of the parts. And a way to remember how fingerprinting works is say it, play it, okay? So let's see, let's take whiskey before breakfast and do a fingerprint as an example. Whiskey before breakfast, A part. And that's probably enough to trigger the rest of the song. B part. So just to repeat something I said earlier, that these little bits that you play are like triggers. If you get them and you really have learned the tune, then the rest of the tune is going to come back to you. right? So if you're just learning a tune, forget about this whole process. But if you've already learned it, and you learned it a long time ago, kind of link, linking the name of the song, the title of the song, with these little bits is going to help you remember both the title and the whole tune. And you'll be able to kind of just recall it more easily. It's a form of practice of recalling. So let's do another example of fingerprinting. Let's do the tune Lilting Banshee. And maybe you try, you oh, wait a second. I don't... I don't remember it. I can't do the fingerprint. So what you do then is you go, you look up the tune, you look it up on your printed fiddlehead tabs or sheet music or something, and then you play the tune again. Maybe you go and just listen to it. Maybe you just need to listen to a little bit. All right, and then you've played the whole tune. Now you can do the fingerprint. Okay, so now you say, say, Lilting Banshee, A part. B part. And that's it. That's the whole process of fingerprinting. One last tip, you can do it all the time. Just make it like a regular thing you do, especially as a beginner. And at the end of every session, do the fingerprints for everything you've practiced. If it's just one tune, great. Just do the fingerprint for it. If you've done a few, and if you forget any of them, you may want to try to review them and eventually get it so these fingerprints are just solid. You can just do it, okay? So that's maybe the most powerful tip out of all of these. Let's move on to the next one, which is building review sets. And so basically, the most a very cr- crucial part of build, building review sets is just to keep a list of everything you've learned. And not everybody does that. There's some amazing Irish fiddlers, by the way, or any fiddler, who know thousands of tunes and they don't know the names. And so they don't have them written down. All right, so you don't have to do this. It's a suggestion to help you. And so if you write down the name of every tune, then you can kind of evaluate, well, I don't really want to keep that one going. Oh, I haven't played that one in a while. I'm going to do that one. So um, anyhow, so you keep a list of all the tunes you know, and then you divide them into small little sets of five to ten songs, and you review and you review just that set. You know, maybe review it for a week, and then once it's solid, and you can continue learning new things. But you, this is your review set, and it might take you a little while to build up a review set. Maybe one day you review one tune. Another day you go over that tune and then review a second, then do the same process until you have at least five, five in your review set. And then once that review set is solid, you can start all the tunes, then forget about it for a while, build a new review set. <clears throat> and eventually you'll have like review set one, two, three, and you can kind of move through each of those. Um, I'm gonna try to, uh, on fiddlehead.com, on the lesson notes, I'm gonna try to include examples of this for you to look at there. It's easier to do it in text than just talking about it. Okay, so if just a few more tips, and these are going to go a lot more quickly. Another tip for learning, um, for remembering tunes, is to transpose it. 
or just start it, meaning start it in a different scale or on a different note. So, so take a lilting banshee. If possible, now just start it on G1. So if you can do that, you can have a much better memory, a better mental picture of that tune. And that's kind of what this practice does. It's like looking at a sculpture or a painting, and then you take a few steps to the left, and you see it from a different angle, and then suddenly you have a more full picture. That's what transposing does. Now we'll move on to the next tip, which does the same thing. And this is just switching instruments. Um, so, you know, I'm gonna grab, I just, I'm not prepared, I'm gonna grab a mandolin though, and, and try to play this tune on mandolin. So here's a, here's a mandolin I have. I haven't played it in a while. Um, it's out of tune. I hope you will forgive me for that. So you play the tune on another instrument, guitar, just sing it. Do, 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 do. And then by doing that process, it's kind of like a tr transposition of instrument almost you are again creating a much more solid mental representation of the tune, okay? So, you know, if you don't have, and again, if you don't know any other instrument, you hate singing, you could hum it um, or whistle it. Just find another way to express that tune. All right, so just two more quick tips um, on how to remember tunes. Um, this one is, may sound basic, it's daily listening. Listen to the tunes you're playing on, you know, try to listen to at least every day, to at least one tune you're working on. And I have a really good suggestion for you. Make a playlist of all the tunes you have learned and worked on and want to continue with. So however you listen to music, Spotify, YouTube, whatever, they all have ways to make playlists. And so you make a playlist of just those things Put it on when you're driving to work or at work or washing dishes or whatever, whatever, and, and just just have those tunes running and then it'll keep it in the forefront of your mind and keep that melody strong, that mental map going. And so um, as a side kind of supplementary lesson to this, um, in case you don't know how to make playlists in YouTube, I made a, a video with kind of a screencast video to show you how to do that. So you can kind of find versions and create them. I've also created a big playlist on the Fiddlehead YouTube called Recommended Listening. And it's got different versions of all the tunes I teach a lot on fiddlehead.com. Okay, so the last session is really almost not even a suggestion, but anyway, I'll give it to you in a It's to play in weekly sessions. So once you get to a certain point, try to find some way to play with people every week and that may be the most powerful thing that you can do. You may, some of you may not be ready for that, or you may not have that as an option for whatever reason, but if you do and you're able to find at least one person you get together with, practice buddy or a beginner's group, and you just play these things every day, you're gonna, that's gonna help you a lot because you'll, you'll be motivated to, be, to remember it by doing that. So anyway, take all these as I hope useful suggestions. Let me know if you come up with any tricks of your own to remember tunes so we can share them together. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.